Okay, today's exercise is not one of the most comfortable exercises, but it is one of the exercises that produces a huge number of breakthroughs for people that mean that they can finally break the cycle of on the wagon, off the wagon, the cycle of self-sabotage, and finally get into the best shape of their lives. So if you've been struggling to lose weight loss, uh, to lose weight, then I highly recommend that you do this exercise. So. The exercise is basically identifying the reasons why you would not want to lose weight, which at first might sound ridiculous. You might think, what, why would I have reasons not to? Well, I guarantee you, if you have any reasons, either consciously or unconsciously, you will sabotage yourself over and over and over again until you destroy those reasons. So <clears throat> here are some of the biggest, most common reasons that we come across. One of them is that the process of losing weight is going to cost more than you're willing to give. It's going to be more difficult and more painful and more hassle than you're willing to go through. Another reason is that you are afraid of failing and if you failed, that would therefore prove that you can never do it, which in turn means that you are unworthy and just not good enough. And so rather than risk proving that you can't do it, you'd rather keep hold of it as a fear. What does that in turn do? Well, obviously that guarantees failure, but as we know, the unconscious mind doesn't work on logic, it works on emotion. Another common reason is that uh, if I succeed, then it's going to cost me something else in, in some other area of my life. There's gonna be some other negative consequence of success. So for example, uh, if I lose weight, then I'm going to get all of this unwanted attention. So what you want to do is you want to write down all of your top reasons. What are the key reasons why you might not want to succeed, why you might not want to lose weight? Then for each one, we need to destroy it. Now, at this point, a lot of people freak out because it all seems too impossible. But this is ridiculous because this is just like going on any journey. Now, if you, had zero, if you already had zero reasons for not wanting to lose weight, you'd already be there by now. So if we use the metaphor of another journey, you're going to encounter obstacles, whether it's a mountain or a river or a wall. And if you encounter one of those obstacles, what, what do you do? Do you just stand there, stay exactly where you are, complain about the obstacle and repeat to yourself over and over and over again, oh, it's impossible, I, I can't do it. Of course not. You figure out a way to get around the obstacle or over it or under it or through it or destroy it. This is exactly the same thing. So instead of freaking out at these obstacles, just expects them and accepts them as part of the journey. So what do we do? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to ask ourselves, is this a, uh, a real reason in the sense that this is actually very likely to happen? So for example, uh, if you lose a significant amount of weight, are you likely to get comments and questions? Yeah, that's pretty likely. So if that happens, then you have to ask yourself, does it really matter? Does this reason actually matter to me? So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a values check. What do I value the most? Do I value getting into the best shape of my life and staying that way for the rest of my life? Or do I value never having to learn how to handle comments and questions? Which one's the most important to you? Now, if the reason that you come up with is a belief, <clears throat> that makes things a lot easier because the whole point about a, a belief is that it's not true because it's a belief. So arguing with yourself about if it's true or not or if it's right or wrong is a complete waste of time because it's a belief. So what you need to ask yourself is, is it useful? And if it's not useful, then great, you get to replace that belief with a completely new one because it's all made up anyway. <laughs> 